I wanted to ask you about the world's central kitchen to take a look at what John Kirby said. A point of condition is the president on February 8th said it was the policy of his administration to prevent arms transfers that risked facilitating or otherwise contributing to violations of human rights or international humanitarian law. Is firing a missile at people delivering food and killing not a violation of international humanitarian law? Israelis have already admitted that this was a mistake that they made. They're doing investigation. They'll get to the bottom of this. Let's not get ahead of that. Your question presumes at this very early hour that it was a deliberate strike, that they were hitting aid workers and did it on purpose. And there's no evidence of that. I would also remind you, sir, the State Department has a process in place. And to date, as, as you, you and I are speaking, they have not found any incidents where the Israelis have violated international humanitarian law. And lest you think we don't take it seriously, I assure you that we do. We have never violated international humanitarian law ever in the past five to six months. The State Department has yet to determine that any of those incidents violate international humanitarian law. 